So we have Vicencio, the running presidential candidate, is shot dead in Ecuador just a couple of days ago. And I get a lot of clients who are interested in Ecuador doing the whole residency application and process over there. Also, I got a few comments. Some of you have directly reached out on the forum asking about the whole violence situation. The question is with what's going on. First of all, what is going on for the large audiences for the rest of the people who don't know what's happening in Ecuador? That's the first topic I'm going to cover. And second, I'm going to talk more about what's the situation now like. Let's say you are interested in doing the Ecuador residency. One of the important steps is obviously to be there and complete the process in Ecuador. Should you be worried about the situation? What should be your approach? Should you do this? Should you put it on the back burner? I'm going to cover a lot of important details. But before I deep dive into the current situation, Make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe so you don't miss out on important developments across any of the residencies and the RCBI domain in general. First of all, why is there so much of violence in Ecuador? What's the situation? And this all started since 2016, the whole peace accord in Colombia. Obviously, that was a big move for Colombia. A lot of the organized crime then started shifting in the nearby countries. Ecuador was a hot target right that's where a lot of this activity moved to in initially it, it started off in a small capacity but you know it has obviously evolved and not just ecuador right a lot of other countries in the vicinity that have the organized crime that's cropping up now regarding via vicencio he was very vocal against the organized crime often challenging the cartels and stuff like that so he was always a hot target right he was always in the limelight obviously multiple threats to his life. He continued with his actions and then finally he was assassinated. Now, how does this impact you, right? How does the whole violence situation impact you? Well, violence is sort of consistent and common across a lot of Latin American countries. It's a part of the society somewhat, right? And again, this all is variable. You have crime also in the US. You got to be smart. You got to be careful. You got to pick your and it's needless to say this, right? Smart people get it. Pick your spots. Stay at the right places. Don't say the things that you're not supposed to say in outside countries. So as a local, yes, what he is doing is for a good cause and it's a completely separate matter. But you're an outsider, you know, you don't belong to that country. So as long as you aren't being vocal about stuff that you aren't supposed to be vocal about, as long as you're being under the radar, low key, keeping a low profile, right, when you're, go when you're going to any country. And this is not this is not just Ecuador, right? You have this kind of stuff happening all around the world. You have the Russia situation, the Ukraine situation. You have so many different places and, you know, stuff goes on, violence goes on, crime goes on who's right, who's wrong, all of those things. We, we, we are not interested in all of that. The whole point is, is it safe to go? Well, if you take the common sense precautions, it's the same as any other country, right? It's no different. Yes, there's violence, there's violence in Mexico, there's violence in US. As long as you're being smart, as long as you're being careful, as long as you're being vigilant, I think you should be fine. Regarding the process, I think it hasn't changed much. Nothing has dramatically changed. It is what it is. Now, let's say you are in the middle of doing Ecuador. Should you complete it? Absolutely. I don't see any reason. And this is obviously my personal opinion. This is not immigration or legal advice or no kind of personal advice. Each one has to take their own call. But I feel the situation hasn't changed drastically. It is what it is. And all condolences. We're deeply sorry for uh, the presidential candidate and his family. But just for outside public, the situation is what it is. There was always violence in some of those regions. So that has not changed. And let's say you are in the process of doing Ecuador. I think it's uh, as long as you're taking precautions, it's fine. If you are not, if you are afraid and you don't want to do Ecuador and that's fine. There are so many other residencies that you can consider. My channel has tons of materials about Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, Dominican Republic. That's an interesting one. And then you have several other residencies across the world. If you are interested in initiating and starting any of the residencies, you can always click the link in the description. Book a call with us. We can discuss what best fits your needs and get you started immediately. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed and catch you in the next one.